A new dollar coin produced by the U.S. Mint will feature five Native American ballet dancers known as the Five Moons Ballerinas. One is the founder of Tulsa Ballet, and that's where we find News on Six with Meredith McCallum this morning. Good morning, Meredith. It's good to see you. Good morning. It's so cool. This coin is paying tribute to the Five Moons Ballerinas, five Native American ballerina dancers. And yes, one of those is the founder of Tulsa Ballet. And so Scott Black is the managing director. Scott, tell me about this coin and what you guys thought about it. Yeah, we're very excited that the U.S. Mint has decided to publish this special commemorative dollar coin featuring the Five Moons Native American Ballerinas uh, coming out in February. It's a real honor to us here in Tulsa, of course, because one of those dancers was Maslin Larkin, who founded Tulsa Ballet in 1956, and it was because of her dream to start a company here in Oklahoma, her home state, that we are where we are today. And her picture is behind you. You said she started Tulsa Ballet with her husband, who is also a ballet dancer. And tell me where they were before. They were touring in Europe? Yeah, so they were members of the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, which traveled all over Europe in the 1920s. And it really was the start of introducing ballet as a mainstream art form. Um, they, they toured to rave reviews around the country. That's where a lot of famous artists in our industry got their start, like George Balanchine, and of course the other uh, Native American dancers like Maria Talchi, and Marjorie Tallchief, uh, when they were done with their tour of the Ballet Russe, they all decided to come back to the United States. And we really think that it's because of that group and their training and knowledge that they brought back to the U.S. that ballet was introduced as a prominent art form here in the United States. And of course, Tulsa at the center of it all uh, with Miss Larkin and Mr. Jasinski. It's so amazing. What is it like to be recognized like that on a national level, the founder of Tulsa Ballet? Well, I think it's a huge honor, uh, not just for Tulsa Ballet, but also um, the, all of the, the heritage that comes along with Oklahoma, um, all of our Native American ancestry here. Um, of course, we, you know, we truly believe that we uh, continue to fulfill the mission of Tulsa Ballet through the eyes of Miss Larkin every day. She always wanted to have a ballet school first, and we not only have one, but we have two ballet schools that continue to train the next generation of dancers and dance enthusiasts and that's just part of what we do every day here at Tulsa Ballet. Perfect. Scott, thank you so much. I will send it back to you guys. Thank you very much. Well, coming up next we will have much more news on 6 at 9 a.m. Stay with us.